Well, he has held his current position for just over a year, but hardly a stranger to the difficult work that the men and women under him do. We welcome Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter to our 4 o'clock studios. Thanks so much for coming in. Good to see you. Good seeing you, Brian. Thanks for having You've me. You've had a lot on your plate this summer, but it started yeah. pretty badly for you. So did you think that was your low point? You ended up having to fire some officers, and then a couple ended up getting criminal charges? And that was a heavy thing to take on right sure, away. Sure, sure, it was a big thing to take on. I wouldn't call it a low point. I mean, myself and my command staff, we're prepared to, to tackle anything that comes in front of us, but obviously, you never want to be put in that situation. And I will say this, the Omaha Police Department is a better police department now in the aftermath of that incident. Moving from that to a big contrast, somebody that you've been looking for since 2008, yeah. you make the big arrest of Dr. Anthony Garcia this summer. Was that the high point? certainly was a high point. Any time that we can arrest uh, a violent felon, a violent suspect, a murderer, and bring closure to the families, but in this case really to the entire community, a five-year stretch that really really harmed our community, it's, it's a great feeling to have, and I would say that's our high point. And this is one where you formed a task force. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised a bit at how quickly things developed even then? Lots of task force gets formed around the country right. with lesser results. Well, I knew we had a very powerful task force. I knew the people who were involved, I knew the agencies that were assisting us, and I knew the, the viability of the Omaha Police Detectives. Um, of course, I was a little shocked that it took place in two months, but I was very confident we'd get our man. You, you probably look back at 2008 and think, geez, could we have gotten him then? No, I really don't look back that way. There's a two totally different set of circumstances that played out there. Because you had the new evidence, you had we, new links. Absolutely, that uh, the second set of murders really galvanized and crystallized our focus and allowed the task force to really zero in on what we needed to. You know what you were looking for. Right. Nico Jenkins, of course, that had to be a big arrest uh, this yeah. summer. He, uh, he called us last week, said that he wants to uh, turn himself, well, he's already in, but he wants to plead guilty. Mm -hmm. He wants to lessen the impact of of a trial. Some say that maybe he's not competent. Do you think he's competent to stand trial? You know, I do. I do. I think he is competent to stand trial and that's really not for me to say. That's going to get played out in the court system, but uh, my opinion is he is. He keeps saying that he should have gotten more mental health care. Do you think he's just playing us? You know, Brian, it's, uh, it's something that's going to get vetted out in the court system. I don't want to talk about it too much here. Understand. Because what I say carries on into the court system. It's in that realm now. The bandwidth for your detectives with those two cases, mm -hmm. with two serial rapists, yeah. other potential death penalty cases, right. uh, do you need more cops to pull this off? Well, I will say this. I'm very proud of the work of my investigators, very proud of our federal partners that assisted us. And they were, there was some jet lag, there was some tiredness in between all of these things. These are cases that on a, on a single year would stand out very highly. So to have three in one year took its toll on our detectives. And I do have a plan in place with the mayor's office and the city council on board to increase the staffing of the Omaha Police Department so that we can get up to acceptable levels, up to levels that are more commensurate with the national average, areas that will help us with response time, property crimes, and violent crime prevention and the investigations of the aftermath. We just have a couple seconds here. You yeah. would men, when I sat down with you when you took the job, you said a big part of it was getting the community to buy into all of mm -hmm. this. Do you have a better relationship with the community, do you think, now? I'm confident we do. Everywhere we go in the community right now, the Omaha Police Department is very well received, and I hope to expand upon that and even further that because it is the hallmark of what I, do, what I want to do as police chief, and that's community policing. All right, good to see you. Thanks hey, for thanks, coming Brian. in, Chief. Thanks a lot. Mallory? Well, still ahead. Why